Yo, yo, what's up everyone, it's Patrick, and welcome to my guide to Heroes Quest on Old School RuneScape. Uh, doing this on RuneScape 3, I do have a version of this guide for that as well, link description below. Anyways, on screen right now is everything you need to prepare yourself for this quest and the rewards. Uh, you'll need a partner for this quest, just like in Sheila Rav, and they must be from the opposing gang of whatever gang you're in. So if you're in the Black Arm Gang, you'll need a partner from the Phoenix Gang. If you're in the Phoenix Gang, you'll need a partner from the Black Arm Gang. To get a partner, apparently there's a clan chat you can use called OSRS space uh, SOA. If you have someone who already has um, completed the quest, I believe they can still help you out as well. Uh, this is only for the part of the quest which is going to be shown in the last part of this video. So you can do everything up until that point without a partner. To start the quest, go to the area outside of the Heroes Guild. Talk to Archietes outside the Heroes Guild and select the chat options written on screen. Go to the fishing store in Port Sarum. Talk to Gerent and select the third chat option that says, I want to find out how to catch a lava eel to get a small bottle of snail slime. Use the snail slime on the unfinished Harrowlander potion to create blemish oil. You can use this opportunity to buy a fishing rod and some bait if you don't have them as well. Uh, but anyways, right click the oil and use it on the fishing rod. Go to the Taverly Dungeon. This is a map of the Taverly Dungeon. You have to make your way to the fishing spot where the yellow marker is. This will require you to pass the blue dragon area first, which is where your fire protection is going to come in handy. You can get there by using the agility shortcut by the entrance, then head south, but that requires uh, 70 agility. The second option is to follow the yellow path all the way around, but there's a gate uh, to get into the blue dragon area, and that requires an item called the dusty key to open. Uh, if you don't have the dusty key or 70 agility, you're going to have to go all the way around. But then follow the green path south instead to where the green marker is and when you get there I'll show you what to do next. This is only for the people who are trying to get the dusty key. When you get here kill the jailer and pick up the jail key that he drops. Use that key to open the cell to the south. Talk to Valric the explorer and select the options written on screen. Here is this map of the Taverly Dungeon again. Uh, make your way to the area with the fishing spots, like I said, where the yellow marker is. If you're coming from the place where you get the dusty key, just uh, follow the path north. Stay on the west side until you see the gate to the Blue Dragon area. Go through that gate, then just continue down the path. Simply click on the fishing spot until you catch a lava eel. Uh, you actually only need one as they can't be burnt, however you have to be super careful not to eat it or you will have to come back here. Once you have the lava eel, simply just cook it on any range or fire. Uh, if you don't know how to get out of there and you have no teleport, you can use the home teleport to get to Lumbridge and there's a range right there in the castle as well. After you get your cooked lava eel, you can put that in the bank or whatever to make sure you don't eat it. In this next part, I'll be showing you how to get the ice gloves. If you already have them, you can skip to the time written on screen. If you don't, then you're going to get into a fight, so be sure to have your combat gear with you if it's not already. Also, it takes this opportunity to fill your inventory with food. Uh, if you have protect from melee, you don't even need food, just a few prayer potions. Then go to the specific dungeon on the White Wolf Mountain, indicated by a yellow marker on this map. You can take either path I have drawn out to get there. It just depends if you're coming from Catherby or Berthorpe. You can also take the Gnome Glider there. It's a short walk from there. Mine this rock slide to get through and climb down the ladder to the very southeast. Follow the tunnel south until you reach another ladder. Climb up this ladder, then climb down the ladder to the northeast. Follow this tunnel all the way to the end. It's pretty long, but it's also straightforward. You can only go one way.
climb up this ladder, then go down the ladder to the north. Run a bit north until you see some Ice Warriors and the Ice Queen. Now would be the time to turn on Protect for Melee if you want to use that. The Ice Queen is the only one you need to kill. It's a pretty straightforward fight. Nothing special happens. It's just that, unfortunately, this is a multi-combat area, so everything here will attack you. But, like I said, the only one you really need to kill is the Ice Queen, and it's also super easy if you have Protect for Melee. Once the Ice Queen is defeated, pick up the Ice Gloves that she drops and you can teleport out. Ideally near Port Sarum, if you need to get away from the Ice Warriors, you can just head south. Uh, remember that area was completely clear when you first uh, came down the ladder. Now everyone should have their Ice Gloves. Uh, we're now going to go to Entrana by using the boat where the Yellow Line begins in Port Sarum. Uh, be sure to bank any armor or weapons you may have, and those are not allowed on Trana. I would bank everything just to be safe. Uh, you can get the other stuff you need out of the bank later. Uh, you can also use the deposit box by the boat in Port Sarum. The only item you need for this next part are the ice gloves. So whatever you do, just be absolutely sure to bring your ice gloves. Once you're in Entrana, get off the boat. Go east, then north to get to the northern side of the island towards the Law Altar. When you see the Entrana Firebird, make sure you have your ice gloves on, attack it, then pick up the fire feather that it drops. This is the last part of the quest where you'll need a partner from the opposing gang. On screen right now is everything you'll need for the remainder of the quest. Uh, you'll need the cooked lava eel and the fire feather obtained earlier in the quest. Then the rest of the items you need is dependent on which gang you're in. You can also bring some quick teleports to get around to places I listed if you like. I'll be showing you how to do uh, the quest for both gangs. If you're in the black arm gang, just continue watching. If you're in the phoenix gang, skip to the time written on screen. This is the part of the video for members of the Black Arm Gang. Go to Black Arm Gang Hideout, which you don't remember where that is. It's the building indicated by the yellow marker on this map. Talk to Katrine and select the second chat option to ask, is there any way I can get the rank of Master Thief? Go to the building in Brimhaven, indicated by a yellow marker on this map. Don't actually go in yet, just near it by the entrance or something. Try to open a door and select the option that says 4 leaved clover, then open a door again to get in. Talk to Trobert and select the chat options written on screen. Put on your black helmet, plate body, and plate legs, then go to the most northwest building in Bermhaven. Enter the building. If the guard stops you, you can just go through that dialogue and try to open the door again. If it doesn't work, you might need to talk to Trobert again. Anyways, once inside, a right-click grip, talk to him, and select the chat options written on screen to get a key. You're going to give this key to your partner in the Phoenix Gang. You can do this as many times as you want as long as the key is not in your inventory if you're helping out multiple people. But anyways, give the key to your partner when they're ready. If they're also watching my video, they should know when to get it from you. Um, you guys can meet in Brimhaven as this entire part of the quest takes place here. If one of you is an Iron Man, I believe you can just use the key on them. Your partner is going to have to do a couple of things uh, before you can do anything. But in the meantime, go back into the building and go into a room in the northeast. Try to open the cupboard and the guard will stop you. Select the first option that says he won't notice me having a quick look. Grip should then come into the room. If not, try to search the cupboard as well. But once he's actually in the room, uh, close the door behind him to trap him in here. 
your partner is going to have to kill him. Uh, they should know when to do this if they're watching my video. But like I said, they have to do a few things first, which should be quick. But keep him in here. Until then, if somehow he gets out, then just do it again. When your partner kills Grip, he'll drop his key ring, pick that up, exit this room, and go to a room to the very west. Use Grip's key ring on the door to the north, and then open and search the chest to the north to find two candlesticks. One of these candlesticks goes to your partner, by the way. If you drop all the candlesticks in your inventory, uh, you can search this chest as many times as you want to get more in case you want to give it to multiple people. Although this is not a shortcut for them, they'll still have to go through all the steps before uh, it'll actually work. Anyways, meet up with your partner wherever. Uh, trade them one candlestick as you need the other one for yourself. Or if you want to use an Iron Man, I believe you can just use it on them. With your candlestick, go back to Katrine at the Black Arm Gang hideout in Varrock. Talk to Katrine and select the second chapter that says, I have a candlestick now to get a thieves armband. You should now have a cooked lava eel and fire feather obtained early in the quest. Make sure to get those out if you haven't already. You also need the thieves armband you just got. Then go to the entrance of the Heroes Guild. Talk to Akietes, and that will be the end of the quest, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for future videos to come if you haven't already. The uh, rest of this video is just the Phoenix Gang part of the video, so I'll catch you later. Peace. This is the part of the video for members of the Phoenix Gang. Go to the Phoenix Gang hideout, which you don't remember where that is. It's the building indicated by a yellow marker on this map. Climb down the ladder if you haven't already and talk to Straven. You're going to meet up with your partner in Brimhaven because the entire next part takes place there. They're going to give you a key, but there's a few steps they have to do to get this key though. But once they do get it, they should know to give it to you, especially if they're watching my video. Uh, just wait for them to get it. Once you have the key though, go to the Brimhaven food store marked by the yellow marker on this map. Talk to Alphonse the waiter and select the third chapter to ask him, do you sell gherkins? Go through the door to Northwest, talk to Charlie the Cook, and select the chat options written on screen. Push the wall next to a range, run across to the door to the Northwest, go through that door, then use the key your partner gave you on the door to the North. Your partner should have already lured Grip into the next room. If they haven't let them know to do it now, they should know what to do if they're watching my video. But when you do see Grip in the next room, kill him with Ranger Magic. Once Grip is killed, he'll drop a key, but that's for your partner to pick up. You can leave this area by going back the way you came. You have to wait for your partner to use that key to get the candlesticks. And once they do, they will then trade one of those candlesticks to you. Or if one of you is an Iron Man, I believe they can just use it on you. With your candlestick, go back to Straven at the Phoenix Gang hideout in Varrock. Climb down the ladder if you haven't already. Talk to Straven to get the Thieves armband. You should now have a cooked lava eel and fire feather obtained early in the quest. Make sure to get those out if you haven't already. You also need the thieves armband you just got. Then go to the entrance of the Heroes Guild. Talk to Akietes and that will be the end of the quest. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for future videos to come if you haven't already. Catch you later. Peace.